Hello, and thank you for joining me for this presentation on co-authoring Word documents stored in SharePoint Online. While today's presentation is focusing on documents stored within SharePoint, the same user experience would hold true for a document stored in OneDrive for Business. For the first part of this video, I have two virtual desktops set up on my screen so I can show two unique instances of Word running under different user credentials. Let's begin with the window on the left and having Garth edit the Investor Relations Disclaimer document. And I'll do the same thing on the right with Sarah. As you can see, Garth is notified that Sarah is editing the document, and Sarah is notified that Garth is editing the document. So if we have Sarah edit the first paragraph, you'll see that Garth is notified that Sarah has now locked this first paragraph, and if Garth tries to make any changes, he receives a notification that this modification is not allowed because the selection is locked. The same would hold true if Garth makes an edit in the second paragraph. In Sarah's document, she's notified that Garth is making a change and has locked the second paragraph, so if she tries to edit the second paragraph, she receives the modification is not allowed because the selection is locked message. When a user exits the edit, the other user receives a notification that that user is no longer editing the document. For the next section, we'll move over to editing this document with Word Online. I now have two browser instances open and we'll have Garth and Sarah both open up the Investor Relations Disclaimer document. When it first opens up in Word Online, it's in read-only mode, so let's move that into edit mode. You'll notice that Sarah's prompted with Garth is editing the document, and Garth is prompted with Sarah's editing the document. In addition to the prompts, each user sees what the other user is editing in terms of their cursor. So right now, both of them have their cursor in front of Investor. You can see in Garth's document, we see Sarah's cursor is in front of Investor, and in Sarah's document, we see Garth's cursor is in front of investor. So if we move Sarah's cursor down to the first paragraph, you can see Garth has moved. And as we're making changes, those changes are reflected in Garth's document in real time. Same thing if we go into Garth's document and we make changes. Those changes are reflected in Sarah's document in real time. If either one of the users were to leave the document, the other user is notified that the other person is no longer editing this document. So unlike Word desktop client, the Word online client is not locking at a, at a paragraph level, but rather you're viewing real-time updates. So this concludes the co-authoring experience with Word. Stay tuned for my other co-authoring videos to gain a better understanding of what happens with Excel, PowerPoint, Visio, and OneNote.